operations research curriculum is all about military operations. So the kind of tools that we use to do that are things like wargaming, combat simulations or combat modeling, mathematical programming and statistics that we can use as well for certain kinds of problems. And, and all that toolkit uh, that we teach in the OR curriculum are, are the things that those students will use to bring to bear to help our senior leaders make more informed decisions. With this war game, we conducted a study to see what progress needs to be made between the United States Marine Corps and the Australian Army to have better interoperability when we conduct combined and joint operations uh, in an amphibious environment. Almost all the war games we do are what-if scenarios, so in most cases we're looking to model future concepts or future uh, technologies or weapon systems that we might employ and the sponsors want to know, given that the state of the world is going to be different, how will we have to adjust to that? And we have to create new operational concepts to ensure that we employ those new technologies in the best way possible. The benefits of these war games is both the Australian side and the Marine side learn more about each other's services, uh, our capabilities, limitations, and uh, how we employ our forces that it also enabled us to pull in the required subject matter experts from Australia and also the United States Marine Corps to really tease out the interoperability problems and have the robust discussions to identify those capability gaps and risks that we can take back to our respective services and ensure that we can rectify those through future acquisitions, training and exchange programs. Having never worked with Australians before, I found that it was very easy to talk through um, issues and problems as they arose uh, because much of our doctrine is very similar. Um, much of the way we approach problems is extremely similar. The sponsors are almost to a person amazed at the quality of the war games because they rival sometimes war games that their commands have paid money for from other folks and uh, they're amazed that NPS students can come up with such a great quality product. The feedback from students, it's more of a delayed response because uh, the students will graduate, get to their new units, and then it may be within months or it may be a year or two and they'll call back and go, hey, I just got handed this wargaming problem and I know how to do some of this. Uh, can you help? Can we come back to NPS? Can my sponsoring organization sponsor a game? And so we start working through the reach back phase, which for an NPS professor, uh, there's no higher compliment to get a call from a former student that says, hey, I remember taking your course and what I learned there, and uh, I think we can use some of your help. I think they fared very well. They're obviously at the back end of their, their long course. Uh, they put in a lot of preparation. I've been in, engaging with the students uh, for a number of months now, uh, answering a number of RFIs, uh, and uh, having a number of telephone conversations with them in order to prepare for the war game. Uh, and it was very well executed and uh, achieved the outcomes that we desired. Wargaming Week here at NPS is really a product of, of everybody on campus pitching in and helping out and so that's greatly appreciated. Mm -hmm.